guys and welcome back to another Star Stable video and today's video is about the Midsummer update that is live in the game right now. I'm so excited, I love this festival. This is a really cool event because everyone can participate and have fun regardless of being Star Rider or not. So it's open to all players and all levels, even if you are not currently paying a subscription. And for this event I chose to wear this Easter outfit and this is from 2018. And I think this is a cute look for the video and it's a very summery look too and also because I don't usually wear such bright colors but hey, it's a special occasion. So without further delay, let's start today's video because we have some really cool fun things to go over. Let's welcome Summer! Every year the Jorvik Rangers set up a traditional Eurovision Midsummer celebration next to the old Jasper's farm in Moorland. They are all working hard to get the food, music and decor ready on time, so they will surely be grateful for any help you can offer. So what can you do in this event? Stanislav, the Jorvik Ranger, needs your help to set up the Midsummer pole so we can join in on some classic frog dancing. Play along to our cool midsummer music with your friends, walk up to one of the musical instruments on the stage and show the world that you can be the next winner of the Eurovision Song Contest. That's a funny one. Ashley, the Jorvik Ranger, is in need of assistance in order to meet all the safety requirements for the traditional midsummer fire. If you can't wait for the midsummer feast, Dylan, the Jorvik Ranger, is here for you. He needs some help to check up on his deliveries for the party. Craft your own midsummer reefs for you and your horse. Take a break with your friends and have a picnic by the tables or by the picnic blankets or why not hang by the stands to watch your friends perform on stage. Chat with everyone participating to find out more about what they think of the event, there are lots of fun people to hang out with and well, we are not done yet, keep on reading to find out more. So we have the Midsummer shop with items that were from last year's event from the fish pond and I did miss the event by the way, so the items are there being sold now. You have the Dream a Little Dream tent where you can grab some unique flowers, you need 7 unique flowers and then you deliver the flowers and you can see your dream. And of course the one everyone loves is the Midsummer Flower Crowns. You can collect flowers every day, I think it's two every day, and you collect your flowers to craft your own crowns for both you and your horses. So I am here at Moreland because everyone knows the Moreland Stables and it's the closest to the festival and I will make my way up to where the festival is happening right now. Okay, so this is chaos. I forgot how busy this event is all the time. There's a lot of people here and the game is super glitchy, so I will wait until it fully loads so that we can see everyone in the event. Because right now all I see is grey horses. Okay, that's better. So this is the area for the Midsummer event and to get started we need to talk with Ranger Marisol and she is over here somewhere. Everyone is on top of her, I can barely see her. Okay, there she is. Midsummer is when we celebrate the long days of summer with family and friends. The festival is beloved throughout Northern Europe, but nowhere it is more popular than here in Jorvik. The Midsummer celebration is being organized by the Jorvik Rangers and it's said to be Jorvik's biggest yet. We are almost set up, but there are a few more tasks left. Do you think you and your horse could help out? There are free stations where my colleagues can use your assistance. Stanislav is in charge of raising the midsummer pole, our fire safety expert Ashley is in charge of the bonfire and finally I put Dylan in charge of setting up the banquet tables. With your help the party will begin in no time. Ok, so we have free stations to work with and I think I'm gonna start with Dylan because he's the closest to Marisol. You must be the volunteer Marisol promised me. I'm in charge of the midsummer banquet. There's gonna be salmon from South Hoof, herring from Cape West, potatoes from Steve's and fresh berries from Mistfall. I can't wait to stuff my face. Not that I would touch anything until the guests are finished. In any case, before you can set out the food, someone needs to set up the tables and chairs. Thomas Morland was kind enough to offer up some folding chairs and tables from his table. You should have set them out so all you need to do is ride down with your horse and pick them up. Ok, I am going to go one quest at a time because they are going to ask me to do more stuff after I bring the tables and the chairs so 
I'll start with this quest and I'm going to write down to Morland's tables to collect the chairs and the tables. And you can see over here that you need to collect two items. We have one over here and now we need this one as well. So just click and it's done. Now you drop them over here and that's done. And I cannot click on him. Everyone is on top of Dylan. Nice work with the tables and chairs. Remind me to thank Thomas later. He's been so helpful with the festivities. Said something about making sure the girls who came to his riding camp see Jorvik at its best. Speaking of Jorvik's best, let's get the banquet set up. Okay, the tables are ready. Now we are missing the food and the drinks, I think. It seems I lost my horse. Where did he go? Oh wait, I think he's here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. I hate when this happens because I can never find it back. It takes me a while to see my horse again. Okay, we have two more quests. So we have a movable feast and a good party is a loud party. So let's click on the first one. James at Fort Pinta is sponsoring the food for the banquet. He just sent me a text saying that everything is ready for pickup. So maybe you could ride down to Fort Pinta and pick it up. It should be waiting for you next to the disco. Wait. James sponsoring the food and the drinks for free that's new and we have one more quest we are expecting a big turnout at the party it's going to be tough to hear the music over everyone laughing and having fun a good party is a loud party am i right i want people to feel the ants 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 in their bones okay this guy likes music james also offered to let us borrow speakers from the fort pinta disco for use at the midsummer stage Okay, so James seems very kind today. Usually he asks for loads of money for everything. But at least today he's not asking for anything. I just have to go down to Fort Pinta and collect the items. Okay, so near the disco we can find the food and the drinks. And we have one over here and the other one is there. And now we are missing the speakers. So we have to go inside the disco, I think. That's where the speakers are. And that's another step done. Look at the size of this. This is really not safe, guys. This is what I mean by I hope they do something about the design when you carry something on your horse's back because this looks super silly. Anyway, let's get back to the party and set up the food and the music. Oh no, everyone is gray again. Okay, let's put this down and let me try and find Dylan again, but I think he's invisible because I can see his name, but I cannot see him. Oh, I can see his hat. Okay, I can see his hat over here. Can you guys see that? He's invisible. I can only see his hat. It smells so good, I could eat the banquet myself. Okay, okay, I will wait until everyone else has had some first. And now that's the food and the drinks in place. Now we are ready to pump up the volume. This midsummer party is going to be off the chain. And that's the stage where you can play with your friends or your club, if you have one. My favorite thing about Midsummer parties growing up was the way they brought up the whole community together. That is why we are inviting people you might have met from all around Jorvik to share it in the festivities. Who knows, you might even see some new faces as well. I prepped the invitations while we were setting up the banquet. Now we just need to drop them in the mailbox. Would you mind dropping them off for me? Oh look, it's Mayor Peanut. Tables and chairs, check. Food, check. Ants, 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 check. Everything is covered on my end, thanks for your help. Okay, so we are done with Dylan, so now I'm going to head over to Stanislav and let's build that pole. You can't celebrate Midsummer without a Midsummer pole. It needs to be tall enough to be seen from far away, but also wide and strong enough to last through weeks of parties dancing round and round. It so happens there's a perfect pole just down the way by old Jasper's farmhouse. I checked with the owner and he says we are more than welcome to take it. It's too heavy for me to carry, but I see you have a good strong horse. Maybe the two of you could fetch the pole up here. Okay, so the pole is in place. Let's talk again with Stanislav. 
We wrap the midsummer pole in fresh green leaves to celebrate the season. There are plenty of branches in the woods between here and Moreland stables. We'll need a lot of leaves, so take your horse and gather as many as the two of you can carry. And the second one is for the flowers, I think. We need to collect flowers as well. So the flowers and the leaves that you need are somewhere around this area. And you have to collect 12 leaves and 12 flowers. So let's just do that and get back to the festival. Let's drop the items over here. I think I need to complete this one to do the next one. The pole is looking great, now it's time to decorate. Okay. So that's the first part done. Now we need to add the flowers. And my horse is gone again, but I'll fetch him later. Here we go. The pole is almost ready. The midsummer pole is looking great, but I can't help but feel as if it's missing something. Flower reefs are the final touch our pole needs to celebrate the traditional way. I've set up a workstation for guests to make their own flower crowns. You could use that to assemble larger reefs as well. Head on over to the flower crown workstation and make four reefs for our pole. Okay, so these are the two workstations where you can build your own flower crowns for your character and for your horses as well, but I will do that after the whole event is set up and we need to craft four reefs. And now that is done, let's take them to Stanislav. Let's place them on the pole. There's only one thing left to do, it's time to raise the pole. Okay, so our pole is done and look how cute and pretty it's looking. The finest midsummer pole in all of Jorvik and the perfect setting for the frog dance. You remember the moves, right? Okay, so let me find a spot where I can show you the frog dance moves that you can do while the event is up. So when you are near the pole, you will see number one, number two and number three buttons down here. So this is the first one. Then we have the second one. And movement number three looks like number two but slower. As you can see, number two is faster, number three is slower. And it's really hard to film because everyone is going in front of me! Okay, I will stop here because it's impossible to film a dance like this and I think you guys get the idea. Okay, so all we are missing is the bonfire. So let's head over to Ranger Ashley and let's prepare the bonfire. Now let's start the music and break out the banquet. Let the Midsummer Festival begin. Okay, so we set up everything that we had to do. Let's go over to the Flower Crowns workstation because I want to find my daily flowers. So over here we have our workbench. This is for your character where you craft the flower crowns for your character. And you have to collect all these flowers down here to craft your crown. Now every day you can only collect two flowers, one for your character and one for your horse. So you have to keep that in mind that you won't find them all in one day. And this workstation over here is where you craft the crowns for your horse. And in between the tables you will find a map where you can check daily to see where the flowers are located. So today's flowers, we have one down here in South Hoof, and that's for our character. And the flower for your horse is up there in Valadale, so that's where you have to go, South Hoof and Valadale today. But if for any reason you are still confused as to what you have to do or where you have to go, you can also talk with Ranger Fleur. So if you click in the middle one, I want to know the flower's location. She will tell you where you have to go for the day. And today she says you can find flowers for your reef today on South Hoof. 
and for your horse it says you can find flowers for your horse's reef in Valadale. So that's where I'm heading right now, I'm gonna start with South Hoof and then Valadale. There's one thing I would like to mention while I make my way to South Hoof. This is a Wednesday, I am filming this on a Wednesday, but I have no time to post a video on the day or during the week whatsoever, so you are watching this video on Saturday. What I'm gonna do is I will post the flower locations for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday in this video just to show you where I found my flowers. I think they are always in the same place, but I will add to this video where I found my flowers. So now that you have the flowers, it's very easy. You go over to the workbenches and all you have to do is click on a flower you want to add to the crown and then click on the craft button. And that's one done. And as you can see, that's my crown. Now let's craft my horse's crown. And just rinse and repeat. Click on a flower and click on the craft button. And that's done guys, it's a really cute accessory to wear, especially during spring and summer. And I think they are very popular items as well, because I keep on seeing people wearing them throughout the year, it doesn't matter if it's spring, autumn, winter, these are perfect to wear for role plays, spring role plays or summer role plays, and they look really cute. Just once again, remember that every day the flowers will change and also the locations will be different. Okay guys, so that was it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed riding around in me and setting up the Midsummer Festival for everyone to enjoy themselves. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you like my videos if you haven't already and I will see you very soon.